Okay, this series tutorial is thank you for uh, to Gotbled2. Still hope I'm saying his name properly. And uh, he gave me a list of commands that he's familiar with in Bash, and he's looking for how to do the sim same things in Python, or at least similar things. And today we're going to be looking at searching through strings or text files uh, for particular patterns, just as you would in grep. So um, here's an example. Uh, I have a file, if I list out here, a file called file.txt. I can cat that out like so in Bash, and you can see I have a lot of lines are just gibberish, but every once in a while we'll have a line that says something like this is the this is a test, this is a test, tester, tester, tester with a capital T, and my test. And let's say we wanted to search and only display the lines that say test that are all lowercase, or at least have the the, the, the line the characters of test. Um, so what we're gonna say we're gonna say grep in Bash, we would use grep. And we would say test, and then the file name. And as you can see, it shows only the um, lines that contain the word test, all lowercase. So let's do that in Bash. So once again, our file is called file.txt. Let's clear the screen and start up Python. I'm using Python 2.71 in this case, as you can see. Um, and no need to import any modules. This is a built-in functionality of, um, of, of Python. Uh, we're going to open a file and search through the, the strings and then print out the lines. It's only three lines of code we need. So we're going to say for line. And line is a variable, so you can call it pretty much whatever you want within reason. And we're just doing a for loop. So for line in, and then we're going to open a file that file is called file.txt in this case. Don't forget our colon there. So basically this is going to loop through each line of text and we're gonna to have to do something with each line of text. So we'll hit enter there, we'll say if, and in this case we need to put what we're searching for in parentheses. So we're gonna create a string called test and we're gonna search for that string, uh, that pattern within our uh, open text file now. So we're gonna say if test is in the line, which is the variable we created here, so for each line, in each line, if that line contains test, colon, don't forget to indent here because we're doing an if statement, and we're going to say print line. So it's only going to print the lines that contain the word test in them, or the pattern test. Hit enter again. There we go. Now you do notice right away that it did it. We have our four lines that contain the word test, or the pattern test, because we also have the word tester. But you also notice it adds an extra space, and that's because print by default adds a new line character when it's printing. And so since it's printing five times, four times here for each line, how do we prevent it from doing that extra space? Well, it's simple. Let's go ahead, and I'll just type it all out again even though I can hit up arrow to go back to it, but just to help it embed in your mind, we're gonna say if line, line being the variable, in, and we're going to open a file, and we're gonna call it file.txt, and if the pattern test is in that line, print that line, and see if we put just that comma right there, that removes that new line character. So here we can hit enter, twice and there we go we've got our output of this is a test this is a test tester tester my test without those extra spaces and just for fun since this is a short tutorial to help you visualize it better I'll create a script here we'll call it uh, I'm gonna use Vim as my text editor but once you, as always use the text editor that you prefer and I'm going to um, create a file we'll call it well let's just call it grep.py probably not the best thing to name it in reality because it might get confusing on some systems but just for fun that's what we're going to call it and just like all our scripts we're going to start off with a shebang line um, or shebang line and we're going to say uh, usr forward slash bin forward slash env for environment and we're going to say python and once again what this does because a lot of people don't get it and they forget to put that in there because it's not necessary but it makes your script easier to use is that your operating system sees this as a text file it doesn't know what type of script it is 
and it will try to run it with whatever the default uh, interpreter is and most systems bash. And this is not a bash script so we have to tell it right here to use the Python environment, the Python interpreter. And, and then we go on with our script from there. So for line in open and we're going to open our file.txt and I'm going to say if the um, string, if the, yeah, the string, the pattern test is in the line, we are going to print that line. Line being our variable, could be called something else if you name it something else. Don't forget our comma. I will save this. We have to make it executable using change mod plus x and the name of our script. Now if you don't make it executable, you can still run it by running Python name of the script, but this is where our shebang line comes in handy. Once you have that shebang line and you make it executable, you can dot slash the name of the script, hit enter, and there we go. We just grep or search through that file called file.txt right there and output all the lines. So once again, if we do the same thing, um, grep test file.txt besides the fact that grep by default, well not by default on every system but on many modern systems will highlight your string that you're searching in red we get the same output. So that is how you do that you search for, for patterns within strings of files using Python um, and I hope Hope you found this turtle useful. I will try to remember to upload this script we just created uh, to my website. Should be the first link in the description. Will bring you to the post on this video. And um, and my site is filmsbychris.com. And I hope that you have a great day.